Hi, I'm Curly and welcome to Curly's Clips. We're going to talk about how to clean and maintain your marmot down in synthetic sleeping bags. Marmot bags are made of the highest quality, most technically advanced materials available to us today and they'll provide you lots of years of service if you take care of them. And like a family pet, you need to care and feed for your marmot bag. So, to help me talk about that, we've got our warranty manager, Brian Rashap here. Hey, hey Curly. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you Good doing? Good to see you. Hey, world. And uh, so, first and foremost, uh, is there an easy way for me to figure out how to do that? Yeah, there sure is, Curly. If you follow me over here, everybody, and check out the draft tube located on the inside of the main zipper, you will see the care instructions right there. So you can't miss them. Hand wash warm, 105 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Or machine wash warm. Gentle cycle in front load washer only. Rinse thoroughly. Do not wring. Do not bleach. Tumble dry low in heavy duty, large capacity machine. Do not iron. Do not dry clean. So Brian just talked about the general washing instructions for down in synthetic bags. Here's some more helpful hints on marmot bags. We recommend using a powdered detergent when washing your down or synthetic sleeping bag, like powdered Tide. We would recommend that you don't use a top-loading washing machine. Uh, reason being that the agitator inside the washing machine can sometimes cause friction against nylon and polyester fabrics, causing the fabric to melt. I know that seems kind of silly to say that in a water-filled washing machine you can melt your bag, but it can happen. These bags are big and they just sit in the tub and that agitator moves back and forth causing heat. So we recommend you go to a uh, laundry mat and use an extra large capacity front-loading washer uh, to wash your own bags. The other thing would be um, when you're using a washing machine at home, like a front loader washing machine that are available on the market now, um, it's good to cradle the bags as you take them out. Don't just grab them by the fabric and pick it up. You want to you want to scoop it, gather it, okay? Cradle it, okay? And then pull it out. What that does, that helps reduce um, stress on the se baffle seams of synthetic and down bags. So another thing to be aware of is when you're drying your marmot bag, uh, you really want to use a low heat because if it gets too hot in there, you can easily melt the nylon. Or in the case of like a synthetic bag, you can actually melt the synthetic fibers on the inside. Uh, one way to help re-loft the bag or get the fluff back in a down bag is when it is in the dryer, throw in a couple clean tennis balls or some couple uh, of lightweight shoes to help bounce around and break up all the clumps that went down. So uh, doing that, doing those steps, you'll definitely get the performance out of your product. And if you're nervous about washing your marmot bag, send it to Marmot Warranty. We'll wash it for a small fee. So once you're done washing your bags, it's important to store them properly as well. Don't put them anywhere they can get over 125 degrees Fahrenheit as that'll help reduce the loft of the bag. Uh, we prefer loose storage in a mesh or a cotton stuff sack. Uh, an extra large pillowcase works just as well. Other than that, I think that's a wrap. Curly and Bry, Audi.